the Sustainable Food Packaging Research Team at the Oregon State University conducts research aimed to increase the sustainability of food packaging through technology innovations. We have developed patented food coatings for preserving fruit crops during production, post-harvest storage, and processing. Created eco-friendly packaging by upcycling food processing bioproducts, and developed edible food packaging to replace single-use plastic packaging. Our team member will provide brief introduction on some of our ongoing research in this area. Hi, my name is Clara and I am a second year master's student. Molded pulp is a paper-based alternative that provides structural food packaging. Simultaneously, the fruit and vegetable processing industry produces fiber byproduct, or pumice, from the juicing process. Pumice may be used as the bulk material for molded pulp packaging. However, modifications must be made. The 3D printed molds are interchangeable and easy to manufacture. Using the combined perspectives from chemistry and engineering, we can continue to design formulations and molds for specific applications such as beverage containers and cartons, takeout containers, and more. Our studies will also continue to expand into other premises so that these products can be made from regionally processed fruits or vegetables. Hello, my name is Amanda, and I'm a postdoc scholar working with Dr. Zhao at the Oregon State University. Shortly, the edible coating is achieved by applying the solution formulations of food samples to create an edible thin layer that provides the migration of moisture Hey everyone, my name is Trung and I'm a master's student with the Zhao Lab at Oregon State University. With edible coatings, we were able to delay banana ripening by controlling ethylene emissions with our coating technology. With this technology, bananas would last longer during shipping and storage across the whole supply chain, which reduces overall food waste. Our patented coatings also show the effectiveness for retaining quality of green pears by reducing chlorophyll degradation, weight loss, and retaining fruit firmness during both ambient and refrigerated storage. In addition, we are now developing functional food coatings to trap volatile smoke compounds from wildfires and vineyards to preserve quality of grapes and produce wine. Another example for our edible coatings is on walnuts. By coating walnuts, the shelf life of walnuts can be extended by preventing oxidation and browning. Manufacturers and consumers can now have walnuts are appealing to eat and not have to worry about rancidity due to oxidation. Hello everyone, my name is Jerry. I'm a PhD student in Dr. Zhao's lab. In our project, we are developing the edible coating on the blueberry surface to protect the anthocyanins leaching out from the uh, blueberries to packaging solutions. After the thermal process, the mechanism that we use was the co-pigmentation and layer by layer edible coating. We are still developing the, this technology on the, the other fruit products to preserve the nutrition and prevent the food waste. Hello everyone, my name is Jenny and I'm currently an undergraduate researcher here in Dr. Zhao's lab. One of our current projects is to extract pectin from pomes, incorporate plasticizers with the pomes extract, and cast them out into films. The practical application for this film is to use as a seasoning package in the instant noodles bag. We created an edible film that could replace a muffin tin liner. Now you can consume a whole muffin without needing to worry about throwing away the liner afterwards. Another similar product would be a fruit leather packaging where you could just eat the fruit leather and film packaging all together. Finally, another student created a water soluble sachet that can hold seasonings and can be dissolved in your favorite instant noodles or soups. How's that for a guilt free eating experience? These are just a few examples of what our edible films and coating technologies can do, and we are continuously exploring solutions to help keep our food safe and sustainable. We hope this gave you a quick insight on what our lab does to help grow our growing demands in food. <laughs>